Hi there, you want to see how we create a watercolor with coffee after the introduction. Hi there, my name is Sisto Pascali. With a little bit of water, a little bit less than a quarter cup, let's say three tablespoons, three to four tablespoons of water, and one big heaping tablespoon of instant coffee, we mix it, and we're gonna create this solution, which we're gonna to use to create this work of art. This will be our coffee watercolor. These moments we're living through quarantine, it's kind of difficult to get materials. You want a watercolor, you don't have anything at home, and you're saying to yourself, what do I do? Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Grab some instant coffee, a little bit of water, stir it, brush, paper. What type of paper I'm using? You're not gonna go out and buy watercolor paper. Okay, any paper that you have at home, work. Some masking tape. Okay, what we need first, pencil, charcoal, absorbent paper. I prefer kitchen absorbent paper, uh, but if you have any absorbent paper, any will do. I'm going to start my gesture drawing with uh, divine charcoal. Gesture drawing is a loose, quick drawing. Try to capture the essence of what you're seeing. This old house that I chose as a subject is really interesting because its lines are really, really not that defined. I really don't like working with defined lines in my gesture drawing at the beginning. As I advance, I like to be a little bit more firm. Okay, let's start to straighten out this house. It's big wind came and blew it over. The wolf huffed and huffed and the house almost fell over. Okay, working on the roof, shingles. This is really turning out beautiful. Really nice, loose, dynamic drawing. Now what I'm going to do is <coughs> I'm going to fix the, the, the charcoal drawing with water. I really like when I, when I start to, I love the, the technique wet on wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put water on the whole paper, nice even coat. This fixes the vine charcoal. And I'm going to grab that coffee solution that we made. Remember, a little bit of water, not that much water. And I'm going to start in the background, working on the trees. What I'm trying to do with the brush is trying to feel the movement of the wind. Me and the wind are as one. It's incredible. When one paints, one feels closer to whatever created this universe. Here I'm dropping down to the shadows. Basically what I'm doing is starting off with my darks. In reality, I'm starting my darks with my lights. I'm not being that dark in this first layer because coffee isn't extremely dark. This area is an area where there's a lot of light. You might be asking yourself, why are you putting watercolor? Why are you putting a tone? Well, it's not actually white. What's re really white would be the rooftop where the sun is really hitting. I'm going to leave that white. Let's see if I can do some more dark tones on my trees, but I'm going to have to wait till this layer is dry. Maybe I'll help it. This is basically the darkest I can go with coffee in its first layer. Remember, imagine this is a 10% layer. If I give it another 10%, it'll be a 20% of darkness. In order to achieve that 100%, I might have to give it 10 layers. My trees are kind of dry, so I can now give it a smooth coat. I'm going for the second layer right now. Second, remember? <coughs> Grabbing that same coffee solution. It's going to be a little bit darker. Remember I said that first coffee solution was like a 20%. So anywhere where I go over with this 20%, there's a 20% under layer. That will transform that upper layer into a 40%. It's 
it's really interesting how watercolor works because it, it gives you time it, between layers you have to actually go back and think think things through going back to my tree now the trees I'm not going to touch the part where the sun's beaming on them I'm going to start working my dark areas and one of the things I want to do is I want to make that rooftop a little bit lighter so I'm going to start emphasizing the darks on the trees smell of this coffee is great wish I had some donuts that go with it it's incredible wish you guys could be here to smell the aroma okay slowly working this through one of the things that I'm permitting myself is uh, the fact that um, I let myself make mistakes I love making mistakes I like to grow from my mistakes we as children, I'm, I'm 54 and I consider myself a big kid, uh, we have a right to make mistakes. The learning process starts by not knowing. So one of the things I look for in my watercolor is what happens within those mistakes and how can I carry that mistake to my finished painting. I actually think that there is a supreme being something greater than us that helps us well this is going to be great all right grab some of that coffee again and i'm going to make another solution coffee but this time instead of adding water what i'm going to do is i'm going to coffee it down i'm going to grab that coffee solution and i'm going to put about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of coffee and a tablespoon of uh, instant coffee, one on one. What I'm trying to do here is achieve a thicker consistency so I can create my darker areas. Grab my scissors. This is really interesting. Why use scissors? It's what I had. Okay see what happens when I go with a thicker solution. Now this is probably be down to a 50%. Now if I had a 30 or 40% with 15 and 15 or 20 and 20, if I now give it a 50, I'm almost, almost there to that 100% of the coffee. Now remember the coffee's brown, so I'm not gonna be able to get a really dark, dark. But I have something in store that'll help us get those darks working out all my dark areas. It's really working out great. The smell is great. Maybe when I finish I'm going to put this this paper in a cup of hot water and drink my painting. I like drinking coffee without sugar. I don't like sweet coffee. It goes this coffee I'm using has no sugar. It's kind of sour. Well, this watercolor is coming to an end. I mean, there's not very much more I can do with, with this dark solution. But I do want it darker. Now, what do I do? Big question. Okay, Let's see if it, I can put a little bit more. I'm gonna do is grab it hair dryer and dry this up really quick so we can go on to the next step. It's really looking great. Okay, there we go. It's kind of hard to paint and talk at the same time. Okay. Shadow under the tree. The sun's beating, beaming, not beating, beaming, beaming, beaming. I'm beating. Look at those darks, how they accent the lights incredible okay rooftop give it some dark some movement there we go starting to look great I'm proud of myself I love myself that's what art does to you it's like singing and dancing feel great about yourself Go to the kitchen and grab some coffee and make yourself a nice painting. And make yourself a good cup of coffee while you're at it. 
Ok. <coughs> voilà. Voilà. Voila. My beautiful coffee painting. I just created a new movement. Let's dry this down with a hair dryer. There we go. This takes about two to three minutes. Now I'm going to grab my vine charcoal or my pencil. But the vine charcoal, I can put water on it and dilute it. So I'm going to choose the vine charcoal. It's, vine charcoal is not the same as um, mineral charcoal. Mineral charcoal comes from a cave. I mean, it, it comes from a rock. Okay. And the vine charcoal comes from a vine, a twig. Okay. What I'm doing now is I'm accenting the, the dark, so I'm making them darker. Now, once I'm over with all this, what I'm going to do is, when, once all this is over, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come with the brush and that coffee solution, that really thick coffee solution, and play with those darks. But for now, I'm not being very precise with my, my darks. Here we go. Grab my brush, my coffee solution, the one that's really thick. I'm going to mix this in. Oh, let's just try it. It's delicious. It's kind of icky. And I'm mixing it with my charcoal. There we go. Look at those beautiful darks. You can you can appreciate the darks because they're making the rooftop a lot lighter. That's when you really see the darks. This is really turning out great. I love myself. You might be saying to yourself, "What an arrogant guy." Well, uh, maybe. There we go. Things are working out just dandy. Wish I had some donuts again. The smell here is great. Whoa. Wonder if Starbucks would hire me to do this. Whoa. There we go. Well, okay, this is turning out beautiful. And I think I want it a little bit more darker. So I think I have something under my sleeve that we can use. Gonna sign it. This is the finished painting. Now, if you want it darker, wait till it dries. Grab one of those nice ink markers. The ones that smell icky, like they have alcohol in them. It doesn't smell like anything. It'll just slide over it. It's water-based. If it smells like alcohol, it's a lot it's an ink that's a lot firmer. Here we go. This is starting to work out great. Beautiful. Okay guys, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments. Uh, thumbs up if you like it. If thumbs up thumbs down if you don't like it. Okay. Hope you really like the class. Really simple to make watercolors with coffee. This is not the traditional way of painting, but we are in quarantine, so we have to find materials that we have closest to us. This watercolor was created with vine charcoal or pencil, instant coffee, a little bit of water, and a lot of love. If you enjoyed this episode, subscribe to our channel. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't like it, be honest. And I would really like to hear from you in the comments. See you next time.